Hi there, this is Rahul and in this movie you are going to learn about border image and linear gradient divider. So you can see that I'm using this image as a border of a section. It's looking really really good and even if you go for the next one, you can see this is actually I'm using a butterfly image. Well this looks pretty pretty amazing and you can use almost any image as a border image of your section or element contained. And also you can see that I'm using only this top and border bottom while avoiding this right and left border here so you can use this trick to create this kind of amazing effect here also I'll show you that how you can use this butterfly image to create a divider between your articles or blogs so let's say you're writing a blog about butterflies and you want your blog to be separated by cool butterfly divider well this is how you can do it and let me just tell you that this is not actually specific to butterfly you can use almost any kind of thing to create that divider here so this is pretty amazing next up we're gonna talk about this uh, gradient divider yeah this amazing gradient divider so if you want to separate the articles of your website using this gradient divider well you can do it but let me just tell you one thing that credit of this gradient divider is goes to one of my awesome supporter right here at CSS cast is this nil here this is really amazing guy and as you see actually just shared a trick here and this is the code here and this is that gradient divider so that's what exactly we are going to learn that how we can do it right here in this movie and credit goes to nail so thanks nail for that so let me get back to right here and this is what exactly you are going to learn here in this movie so fire up your co-editor and let's do this so I'm in VS Code Editor and you can notice a couple of things here. The first thing is that I'm on index.html file and we have a very simple HTML markup. Yeah, very simple. But the most important thing you need to notice is this section here. And this is the section we're gonna work in this movie and obviously later in this movie we will add even more section to work with. Damn, that was important. Yeah, okay fine. Let's go to the app.css here and in app.css you can see that we have a very simple basic styling to our body and heading to tag. So let me get back to right here and let me show you two more important thing. Those images we're gonna work in this movie. The first one is a bot.png file which is actually a transparent image and we will work with this image in this movie and also this is the butterfly image which is actually a JPEG file and we will add this butterfly image as a border to our section. So this is the two image we're gonna work with. Let me just close it out here. So let's right click here and boot our server. Well, I don't have to do it because I have already done that. So let me show you if I get back to here. This is our project preview. Here's our heading to and here's our section. So let me get back to right here and let's start working on it. So first of all, I want to add a class here so we can easily target this section. So we can simply say a class and this is going to be sec-1, means section 1. And now we can go to this app.css here and we can simply say dot .sec and it's going to be 1 and there we go so first of all let me just go ahead and close this sidebar here so hit command or control b there we go so now we have more room to work with now let me get back to right here and we want to add our border.png file as a border of this section let me show you this is the file i'm talking about this border.png okay so let me just close it out here and let me go to this app.css and first of all if you want to add border to your section what do we do typically let me show you we simply say here border and then we say here the height of the border is going to be 20 pixel solid and now the color well in this case i'm going to give you a black color if i get back to right here you see we have this 20 pixel high border around our section but this is not what we want here we want our image as a border of this section well for that we need to get rid of this particular solid black color here so we can get back to right here and instead of this color here we'll say here transparent so now our border is going to be transparent and you can see that because i have selected you can see that is actually a transparent you cannot see that border because this is actually illusion there's a border but it's actually transparent so that's why you can't see it so now what we can do here you can get back to right here and we can add our border image so we can simply say here border is going to be image and then i'm going to make use of this url here and we're going to actually make use of a border.png here which is this one right so i say here border.png 
and now if we get back to here you will see that now we have our image but it's actually showing that top left and top right bottom left and bottom right we don't want it right we want it as a border so for that we can get back to right here and we can give some width and height to our border image which is gonna be let's say 20 here 20 pixel and then we need to use here keyword is gonna be repeated if I get back to right here you see that now we have it we have this border image here that's pretty neat but the problem is that you can see that our circle is not coming and here we have our full circle right here you see we have this full circle so we want this full circle how do you do that well for that we need to play with this part here because this is actually width and height of our image here so based on the size of image if you go higher it will become even more clear and if you go lower it will going to cut that part let me show you what i mean here so you can see the border png it's actually a very very small image it's actually 81 by 81 pixel it's very small here so now in 20 you can see that now it's actually a little bit cropping here so what we can do here we can go a little bit up here let me show you let's go to 25 here see how it's gonna happen if i get back to here you see that now it's actually becoming more clear here but we do have this little red here that because this is actually this red part is actually very top left very top right very bottom left and very bottom right so now it's actually showing up here so what we can do here we can go even more up let's say 27 now and if I get back to here you see that now we can see our entire circle here and that's pretty neat here because our image size is quite small that's why we have gone to this 27 and we can see our entire image but if image size is quite big then you need to go even more further here like let's say 90 or 100 to see your border part more clearly let me show you what i mean here so let me just go ahead duplicate it and now i'm gonna make use of this uh, butterfly jpeg file here so now you can see that border png is small and this file is quite big so let me just get back to right here let me just hide this sidebar and i'm gonna see here butter.jpg so it's gonna be butter.jpg and now if i get back to here you see that now we're using this butterfly image as a border and you can see it's actually cutting half here you see it's cutting it right so what we can do we can get back right here and we need to move up here because this is the bigger image right so we can simply say let's say 70 here and now if i get back to here you can see now each butterfly you can see it completely it's not any cutting half here so this size is actually depend on the image size you're actually using for your section border so remember it it's very important to understand so let me just go ahead and comment it out here let me get back to right here and we are again back to our normal circle png so now you understand that part now what happened if you want to control your this horizontal line and vertical line separately well let me show you if i get back to right here currently our horizontal and vertical both have this one value but now if you want to control horizontal separately and vertical separately well now the first one is going to be horizontal one and the second one is going to be our vertical one so let's say in vertically i want to just put here 20 here if i get back to right here you will see in horizontal we have that 27 pixel but in vertical we have this 20 pixel and again if i get back to here if i see here 27 so we have 27 both vertical and horizontal you will see exactly same thing as we did only with single value right here you see exactly so you can control your horizontal and vertical value separately if you want to do that so if i set here 10 and if i get back to here again this is actually going to be 27 and this is going to be your 10 here right now what happened if you want to control your top separately then right separately this bottom separately and this left separately well if you work with margin and padding in css you know that what i'm talking about yep clockwise you can get back to right here and assume that this is the first value is going to be top then this is actually going to be right then we can simply say here our bottom is going to be 20 and left is going to be let's say 30 here now if i get back to here you will see that the first one is actually this one is going to be 27 next one is this is actually the right one which is going to be uh, 10 and this bottom is going to be 20 and uh, this uh, left is going to be 30 here and you can see this is actually very clear and quite small because that is actually beyond its exact width which is 27 
so this is how you can control these separate values uncomment this part here and let me actually just uh, show you this one because i think in this way you will understand it even much better so again this is actually guess what top value let's say i want to set my right to be like say 30 here and i want to set my bottom to be let's say uh, 50 here and left is going to be let's say 100 if i save it if i get back to here you see that now our top is uh, 70 our this right value is 30 and then we have this uh, bottom value which is 50 you can see it's actually cutting butterfly here and our this uh, left one is completely 100 so you understand the difference right that's very important to understand so let me just comment it out this part here now let's go ahead and talk about this keyword here now currently it's repeat here but there is actually round and if i get back to here you can see this is actually a rounded value here let me actually just go ahead and get back to our 27 here so i'll show you how it's actually difference here so now this is actually a round value and next up we have this stretch here so it's going to stretch it up here so it's going to stretch that value you see it's actually stretching that one single circle here exactly so what is the difference between round and repeat because stretch is pretty self-explanatory right so now you know that I can stretch it out but what is the difference between this uh, round and repeat here so this is gonna be repeat right this one and round is gonna be this one what is the difference right see so let me show you what is the difference here if I just get back to right here and if I set here repeat and if I get back to right here, you see that now our this that our circle is bit cutting here. And you can see it's also cutting right here. You see that is a half circle. Yeah, it's cutting right here. Let me just go ahead and make it even much big here. You see, it's cutting right there. Yeah. So how would you solve this issue here? Because again, if you're using border image here, it's all about looping in between this circle here. It's mean that whatever is gonna happen, it will happen between these uh, horizontal and these vertical lines. Because this top is actually always going to be in side corner here. Let me show you. See, uh, this is gonna be side corner right there. There you go. This is always going to be in side corner here. So this is going to be very top left top right bottom right and bottom right you can see we have it only this mid part is actually going to be loop but while looping it will actually going to cut it out here this part here we don't want it so how do you fix it well you can use here round let me show you you can simply see here round and if i get back to here you see that now there's a no cutting space here see now it's taking this entire circle right there it means it will actually going to just make a space to fit our circle so in many scenario, you will use this round instead of repeat. So now we have three value, round, repeat and stretch. Okay, if you want to stretch value, you can use here stretch here. And we will use this stretch here, by the way, in order to create something really cool effect later in this movie. So now you got it, right? So now let me just go ahead and make this small right here and let me get back to right here and it's time to create another section. So let me just go ahead and I'm going to just go ahead grab this part here and I'm going to just copy it and I'm going to paste it right here. And let's say here section 2 and if I get back to right here and now here I'm going to copy it I'm going to paste it right here and now this is going to be section 2 here. So now we have these two separate sections and let me actually add margin bottom here. So we'll have some breathing room, right? So it's going to be through RAM and I think that's enough here. Yeah, that's enough here. So now what we can do here is that instead of using this, this image here, I'm going to get rid of it and I'm just, I'm going to comment this one here because we're going to use this butter.jpg file here and I'm going to make it, let's say 100, right? And this is going to be our round because I don't want to crop my butterflies. Uh, so if I get back to here, you see that now we have our butterflies. So that's pretty neat here. Let me actually make this quite big here. So it's going to be, let's say around 80. I think 80 will look awesome. Yeah. Now it's actually a little bit big here and it's looking really nice. Great. So what happened if you only want to keep, let's say this part, this horizontal and this horizontal, but you want to get rid of this vertical part here. How do you do that? Well, for that, we can get back to right here. And now, you know, this is actually our horizontal, right? So we need to set here this uh, vertical value, which is left and right to be zero. 
and if I get back to here you see that now those properties are gone and now we are purely left with this amazing butterflies here and you can see that this butterflies is not starting from here and that's because this part is actually hidden right so that's why it's not starting from there let me actually make this very clear here let me add flat color as a background here so you can see it very clearly here so I'm gonna see here BG as gonna be flat color so this one if I get back to right here you see that now we have it let me actually make this uh, color to be white here and if I get back to here there we go so now we have this particular uh, section here but you can see that now this part is actually you know it's filling with this background color here right because now our only this area is transparent right so that's why you can see only butterfly in that particular area here if you want to just show it in let's say vertically and hide horizontally well get back to here you can set here 80 uh, in vertically and then the horizontal is going to be zero and if you get back to here you will see that now it's showing actually vertically but horizontally it's actually showing that background color here so this is very uh, nice trick you can use it to create some kind of an awesome effect again if you want to add some border radius right here in the corner well it will look amazing so i can just go ahead and simply say border is going to be a radius and let's add something like a 10 pixel here if i get back to right here you see that now if we have this border radius and it's looking pretty neat here don't you think so I really like this one here <laughs> okay fine we can actually also go for this part here let's say it's gonna be 80 here and this is with zero here and I think this will look amazing also right yep this is also looking great and again you can actually add some padding right here so let's say I'm gonna add here padding is gonna be one RAM here if I get back to here you see that now we have this padding and we can create this amazing awesome effect now let's go ahead and move to the next part where i'll show you that how you can create let's say a divider of like let's say butterfly so let's say you want to display your article but as a divider you want that butterfly divider because you are writing article about butterflies how you can do that let me show you so for that let me just go ahead and create another section here right uh, it's gonna be like here and here is gonna be section three and now i can get back to right here and we'll copy this one here and we can simply paste it and this is going to be our section three right if i get back to right here you see that now we have this section here let me actually add some margin bottom here so it's going to be mb and it's going to be three m and if i get back to here okay fine actually i have added this margin bottom in section three i want it added to right here in section two so it's going to be three ram if I get back to right here you see that we have this amazing margin here that's pretty neat here so now let me get back to right here and now I can go down here and now what I can do here let's actually get rid of everything here and let's build it from scratch here so first of all let's save it here let me get back to right here and you can see that we have this article here right and we want border right underneath that so what we can do here you can say here this border is gonna be bottom here and it's gonna be style here bottom bottom style and I want it a solid border here so what I can do here is gonna be solid now I want to add the width of our border here so I can see this here border is gonna be width and border it is gonna be let's say around um, 20 pixel here so it's gonna be 20 pixel and now after that we can use this border image here so you can simply say border image and now you can simply say url and in this case i'm gonna make use of this uh, butterfly one so i'm gonna say here butter.jpg and now if i get back to right here you will not see it because i haven't given any let's say you know the width and height of it so i'm gonna say here around let's say 70 here and this is gonna be around here so i don't want to crop it so i want to show full display here and you can see that now we have it well let me just go ahead and i'm gonna say something right uh, here i'm gonna say here mb margin bottom is gonna be three ram here if i get back to here you see that we have margin bottom and you can see that we have our this um, amazing border right there if you want to make this butterfly big here uh, you can actually play with this one here border width let's say i am gonna say here 50 here if i get back to here you can see that this is quite big here but you can see actually this is actually cutting here so let me just back to here and what i can do here i can just give let's say 79 here and now you see that it's not cutting anymore 
so you see that's now it's actually looking so good here so this is how you can actually order this uh, butterfly image as a border here and let me just tell you one thing that actually I got this image from Google here you see that I just Google uh, border image butterfly here and I got this one so I just grab it and used it you can actually use any one you can use this one here this is looking so cool so you can just grab it you can actually use it it's totally fine so it's it's really awesome because actually this is no it's a very small pic here so you can go to let's say almost uh, 80 to 90 and it will actually just display full here and you can see it's actually copyrighted by shutterstock.com so only use for like you know demo sample do not use for production so let me get back to right here and now this is amazing now let me show you that how you can use this technique to create gradient border effect let me show you let me get back to right here and let me create another section here which is going to be section four here so it's gonna be section four right here and let me just go ahead and format this document here and let me just go right here and here is gonna be dot is gonna be sec and it's gonna be four here right and now we're gonna copy everything right here and paste it right here and I want to get rid of this uh, image here because we're not going to use image anymore we're going to make use of gradient here so what I'm going to do here I'm going to say here is going to be linear and it's going to be gradient so linear gradient and now here inside this one we just go ahead and say let's say to right so this gradient will move to right and now the trick here you need to understand and the trick you need to understand here that now we have this uh, you see this white background so we need to make use of this white color first here so let's say I'm gonna make use of this FFF which is white at let's say 15% so till 15% it will be white now we can use another color right here so let me get back to right here and you can simply just google UI gradient here I really love this website a lot because you have a ton of gradient right here you can use it in your website so again I'm gonna just go ahead and grab let's say this one right here and I'm gonna click this color here I've copied I will just go ahead and paste it right here and I will say here okay fine till 48% you can go and after 48% I'll go ahead and use another color like this one here and now here I'll paste it and this will go to the 52% here so 52% and now I will use again this uh, white color here and this will actually start from 85% here so 85% and now if I save it if I get back to right here you will see that now I have this gradient here you see uh, but this is not looking good because we have a lot like you know of width here it is 50 pixel here so let's make it 5 pixel if I get back to here you see that now we have it so you can see one thing here is that you can see it's actually repeating here one two three there's like a lot of time here and that's because we have actually placed here right here 79 value here and also use this round one well I don't want round here because I want to actually stretch it out here so now I want to stretch it and you can see that now it's actually stretching it out here that's pretty neat here let me actually just get back to right here and let me actually add here even more margin I guess a 10 here so now you can see it properly you see there's a so you can see that's actually starting right from there and it's fading out right here so it's actually giving you some kind of a gradient kind of effect here and the most awesome thing is that if you get back to here let's make this one pixel here if I get back to here you see that's actually it's a very shuttle very very shuttle right even even you can't see it right let me actually just make this uh, again uh, three pixel here so you can see it bit here you see you see it yep this is pretty amazing and the trick here I used here color as the same as the background here if I change this background here let me just go up here and if I set this background to be something like a black here if I get back to here you will see that now you can see this is white here well you can see that I cannot see that content here so let me actually make this something like a uh, AAA which is actually lightest gray color here and you can see that is not giving that effect anymore here so whatever is your background you need to use it right here so if I just get back to right down here and if I use this AAA as the same as our background here right to here also a, a, a. and if I get back to here you see that now it's again giving you that fading gradient effect here right so yeah this is very important and also you can see that these images is actually getting uh, like completely white here and you can see that this is actually fitting very nicely here well that's because this is a transparent image so that's why no matter what the background you will actually put it there 
it will work unlike this one this is actually jpeg file right so yeah this is how can you create this amazing gradient effect so this is pretty neat here and let me actually get rid of this background we do not need it if i get back to here again we are back to our this amazing project and again if you want to give that you know that multiple like a border effect you can get back to right here and you can actually change this uh, value to be let's say around here and then you can actually simply just go ahead and you can simply say uh let's say around 10 here if i get back to here you will see this twice right so one two here so again it's on you that how actually you want to do it it's totally on you right great so now let's go ahead and just google it and just use any uh, like you know border and practice it it's really going to make you perfect so yeah that's it for this movie signing off until next time this is Rahul.